guys, it's Chloe, and today I am here with a brand new video. So today I'm here with an author spotlight, and I have not done an author spotlight in the past couple of months. So today I'm doing an author spotlight on author Sharita Bittekofer, and she is an indie author that I met at an event a couple of months ago, but I can't remember which event that I met her at. So this video is being sponsored by the author, and as I've done with my past couple of author spotlights, I'm going to be talking to you guys a little bit about a couple of different books that she has written. I try and mix it up with the genres, but a lot of the genres are the same. So this is to hopefully introduce you guys to a new book that you might be interested in, or to a new favorite author, and that is why I do these author spotlights. So let's go ahead and get started. The first book I'm going to be talking about, which is the main book of this spotlight, and that is The Enigma. And this is the first book, and I can't pronounce it, the first book in the Loop Garu series. I probably butchered that. And this is actually a paranormal romance with werewolves, so if you're interested in werewolf stories or shapeshifter stories, this is probably something that's really good for you. And because I'm going to be talking about a couple different books today, I'm going to be reading you the synopsis off the back, just because I've got a couple of different ones that I'm going to be talking about. So really quickly, the synopsis for this one is, a graveyard late at night wouldn't seem like the ideal place to meet someone, but for teenager Katie McCoy, that encounter with the handsome stranger with the striking blue eyes would alter her life in ways she'd never imagined. Orphaned as an infant, bounced around foster homes, labeled as discipline problem, and now under the thumb of an abusive foster mother, Katie's been slipping deeper into depression. Who would want a girl with such an ugly face, an imperfect body, or wild hair? But Logan Keith knows the truth about Katie. She's beautiful. Logan is a werewolf, a loop garu, with his own troubled past and a flaw that's considered a handicap in his world. A secret supernatural world he soon introduces Katie to. Although Logan longs to make Katie part of his pack, it may be impossible for them to be together. In his pack's history, there's never been a female werewolf. If you're like me and you like audiobooks, there is an audiobook for this book, and it is live on, I believe, Amazon, Kindle, and a couple of other formats that I will link in the description below if you're interested. I'm also going to leave the Goodreads link to this book down below. And the second book in this series called Becoming the Enigma will also have an audiobook coming out in 2018. It's not in production yet, but it will be coming out. I feel like there are not enough werewolf stories out in the world. Like everybody knows Twilight, but that's technically mostly vampire, but there's not enough just werewolf stories. So if you're interested in shapeshifters or werewolves, I definitely think you should try this out. If you're a paranormal romance fan, you should definitely check this out. And I'm also going to be talking about a couple other books in case this may not be your cup of tea. I've got a couple other of Sharita's books to talk about for you guys today. The next book I am talking about is The Beasts of Verona. This is book one in the Decimus trilogy. And I find it a little hard to describe this particular genre. I think it is part historical. It's the other part that I can't really classify, but you know, to each his own. So the synopsis for this one is taken prisoner as a traitor to the Roman Empire. That's where the historical comes in. Decimus is sold into servitude as a gladiator in the Verona Amphitheater. A natural warrior, Decimus has earned himself a reputation in the arena as a vicious combatant. But the secret behind his uncanny success lies not in his strength and prowess, but in a generational curse that only his manager is aware of. When he catches the unwanted lustful attention of a young politician's daughter, he is tempted out of his violent Com complacency. Howard, a young man in line for position of leader in his family in the States, is sent on a quest by his father to discover the truth behind their ancient heritage. He thought the trip to Italy was foolish and unnecessary. Why did the life of a first century gladiator have to do with his leadership skills? With the help of a shy and clumsy but beautiful history buff, he comes to learn much more than he was expected about his ancestry and himself. So, you can see where the historical comes from. The other part is romance. So for those of you who are interested in historical books, maybe this one is more of an option for you to try out. And of course, there's going to be an audiobook for this one as well that will be in production shortly and will be live in 2018, but there is no set date for it yet. So the next one that I'm going to be talking about is a fantasy story, and it is called The Princess and Her Rogue. And the first thing I thought when I looked at this cover was Princess Bride. Um, that was my first thought. So if you are a fan of fantasy, 
or you're like me and you like to read fantasy around this time of year when it's colder, then maybe this is a good option for you. I'm gonna do a quick synopsis again. And that is, Kira, the beautiful, generous, and adventurous daughter of the king, finds herself unhappily engaged to a man she barely knows. Upon the evening of her engagement, she is kidnapped from her bedchambers by a band of hired mercenaries working for her father's arch enemy, the Deceiver. Hope seems lost as her detractors whisk her away from her father's kingdom and, the, and on the road to her death. But lurking in the shadows is her rescuer, an unwilling hero and rogue. Nate steals her away from the Deceiver's men with the goal to return the princess to her father in exchange for the redemption he has sought all his life. Together they brave seemingly insurmountable challenges as they travel through the territories. Along the way they learn that their futures are much more intertwined as their past and realize they must work together to save their home from the Deceiver's heinous plot. I personally really enjoyed reading fantasy stories around this time of the year so if that's something you're interested in or you just really enjoy fantasy then maybe this is something you might be interested in and there's one more book I'm going to be talking about so maybe you're possibly interested in this one as well and it is called Silver Screen so this one is a standalone it's not part of a series but it is another paranormal and another werewolf book that I'm going to be talking about. So the synopsis is, when Josie Carter found out she would be the head makeup artist for the famous Rodney Bader, it was hard not to be a little starstruck. Working on her first big movie picture was a dream for the small town girl from Arkansas. But her natural passion for acting has been pushed aside for many years now after the accident that killed her eldest sister. Seeing life through the lens of that tragedy had made her apprehensive to accept anything good, including the kindness and love of the incredible actor she worked with every day. All Rodney ever wanted in life was to prove to other werewolves, like himself, that it was possible to live in the midst of humans and not have to worry about discovery. The old world superstitious ways were a thing of the past, but he still knew many of his kind that lived in hiding, including his own father. Sure that his message was only enraging the alphas of the world, Rodney was ready to hang up his actor hat and settle down, and he knew just who he wanted to settle down with. Personally, to me, this sounds more like a sort of a contemporary romance with some paranormal in it. And if you're interested in trying out the werewolf stories, I think this wouldn't be another great option for you to try if you're interested in paranormal romance. So those are some new books that I've introduced to you guys from Sharita in case you're interested in anything like that. You may be introduced to a new favorite book, new favorite author, and this is some suggestions. Now Sharita is also going to be in attendance at some different events throughout the country in the upcoming year 2018 so I just wanted to share those with you guys. And you can also find these on her blog so I will link that in the description below as well. On February 24th you can find her at Behind the Mask Author Event and Masquerade Ball in Nashville, Tennessee. On March 24th you can find her at Booking in Biloxi in Biloxi, Mississippi. In July you can find her at Tampa Indie Book Convention from July 14th to 15th. So in July, on July 21st, you can find her at Rocket City Author Event in Huntsville, Alabama. And in October, you can find her at Booking in Baton Rouge in Baton Rouge, Louisiana on October 20th. I will leave that in the description below. Down below, I am also going to leave a link to her Amazon page in case you are interested in any of her books. I will also leave a link to the Goodreads pages for every single book that I talked about. So guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this author spotlight. Again, it is something new that I'm trying out on here. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys have been introduced to possibly a new favorite book or you've added a new book to your TBR. So guys, that is all I have for this video today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you again to Sharita for sponsoring this video. As always, if you'd like to check out my vlog channel, Cloessence, it is linked in the description below. And if you like what you see here, please go ahead and click subscribe. I post new videos every Wednesday and Saturday. So click subscribe so you can be updated for when I post those. Thank you guys so, so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.